First step is to remove the old lock. There are different types of locks, but most are held in place by screws. Using the screwdriver, get the screws out from one of the sides. Once the screws are removed, you should be able to pull the lock set off the door. Mine is a bit different, I have to remove handles first using an Allen key. After both handles are unscrewed, remove the metal cover and remove two screws. After the screws are removed, just pull the lock set off the door. The next step is to remove your old latch. You might have a faceplate mounted with two screws or a simple drive-in latch. I had a drive-in latch, so I'm just pushing it out. My new privacy lock has both faceplates and a drive-in latch too. However, for educational purposes I will take a more difficult route and install a new faceplate. Insert the new latch in the position and use a pencil to mark the outline of the faceplate. Use a chisel to enlarge the hole until the faceplate sits flush with the door frame. Gradually shave off small layers of wood and frequently check the fit of the faceplate until it matches perfectly. If you have a matching paint, it is a good idea to paint freshly exposed wood. Allow the paint to dry for a minimum of a few hours before attaching the latch and faceplate with screws. When positioning the latch ensure that the beveled end is facing the direction in which the door will close. This design allows the striker plate to move the latch up and down enabling it to function properly. Insert the lock set into the hole in the door. And secure the lock set to the door with screws. Every lock set comes with a striker plate. In my case, they are totally identical, so I'll just keep the old one. And that's how you install a privacy lock. You can find links to everything I used down in the description below. Thanks for watching, hope you found it helpful. Subscribe for more how-tos.